the grind they like. Me, Snicker. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else, anything at all? Only that she seemed tired, very tired, and, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska- Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvarg. Morkvarg? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing. Provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Even if Craven's dead, 
We'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Hey, Geralt. Come back. My, my. That must be Morkarg. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shite! Not, not again! Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Hmm. Better. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you monster tracks, running, chasing something.
Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Lots of prints, old and new. This lair must be nearby. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you whore son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! How you like that silver? Hide your stench. Refreshing. <laughs> The curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me, and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. Uh, those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded many. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, <laughs> raided, drunk most away, but all but one. Uh, true treasure uh, hid away, yours. Uh, just uh, help me. Uh, uh. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. 
anything I devour it turns to ash. Ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Throat. Like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! Farewell. See you soon. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvarg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. 
wish to hear a story? If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn, felt I would die, but I I did it, and then I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs. Uh, of those plowing heroes. Ah! Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> the moral is... <sighs> You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. Conversation. Not interested. What will you do? What a witcher ought to. Craven's blood. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. <sighs> Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. 
Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's... Curse me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell! Oh, almost! Drowned. Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how did I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. 
Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? I'm sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what but I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. 